What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And this is the official trailer review for Black Panther. Ryan Coogan, the guy who directed Creed, is taking on the helm for Marvel to bring out Black Panther. And it premiered during Game 4 of the NBA Finals between the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors. And the reason why they did this and Marvel did this promotion with the NBA is, first off, there's millions of people watching around the world. It's a big event. Two, 90% of the players in the NBA are African American. You have a film that's the cop based on a comic that's 90% African American. So it only makes sense that you make a film <laughs> That's promoted to that's going to be watched the sport by mostly African Americans. So now, Black Panther, a story of a king of Africa, a town called a country called Wakanda. There's a Wakanda by me, but in this land, he is the king as far as his uh, right. His birthright. His father was the Black Panther. They all wear the ring and they defend the land and people try to steal from the land. Um, and there, uh, Andy Serkis plays one of the major villains as he keep, keeps stealing priceless uh, metals and things from the actual country, which is stronger than Animanthium. It's actually, you know, considered the same thing barrier barithium or whatever and it only comes from you know where he's from wakanda in africa it's the only place that that metal comes from and he's one of the guy who goes and you know assesses this metal but let's look at the trailer well the scene starts off with andy circus whose arm is still missing as you remember in ultron ultron cuts his arm off and this takes place after that scene and he's being interrogated by the FBI agent. And as we see here, that's Chadwick Bossman, who plays the Black Panther, who has an all-woman security force to protect him. Something that's mighty different than anything else we've normally seen from the Marvel Universe. But the actual scope and landscape of this planet, or this planet, this uh, area on the country, mm -hmm. and for those who don't know, Wakanda is a made-up place. It's not in Africa. It's just, just for the story. But the way they make it look like a, a totally different world, and they do pay, the poster pays homage to the uh, Huey Newton picture pose for the Black Panthers so I thought that was pretty interesting that they did that and Forrest Whitaker is in here playing a character that no one knows who he's playing yet but he looks pretty mysterious in this film um, looks like a fortune teller of some sort but we'll find out more as you know it gets closer to the uh, actual event coming out as you can see, and with Black Panther, politics and diplomatic issues are at the forefront for his country as far as protecting it from intruders. It's part of the Black Panther, but also when he takes the mask off, he's uh, Chakala, the um, actual leader of the continent, of the country. And all the nations have to come there. He's representing his country. So he has to come there and be diplomatic, but he also is a superhero at night. Other new characters have developed. Uh, throughout the trailer, we've seen different, you know, looks, different angles, different sights. We see our first look at Michael B. Jordan, who seems to oppose the Panther of being the leader of this nation. So. We're going to see a lot of changes in this film. And we see Lapita in this film as well. 
first look in the costume and design, man, and the artwork is bad. So, I don't. I think this is going to surprise a lot of people. And you see her, she got some boomerang-like weapons on her. She's ready to get down. So, I'm excited about Black Panther. This trailer coming out was epic. Please check it out and definitely go see the movie. I'm intrigued. I can't wait to see it. And this is going to be one of the, probably the surprise hits. Because Marvel, they kind of don't know what kind of range would Black Panther do. They're looking at maybe opening weekend, 80 million, 85 million. I'm saying it cracks over 100 million first week. Easy. This is going to be looked at as one of the surprise films of the year. Because not a lot.